Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making a video in Linux Ubuntu that shows one method for you to change the keys around on your keyboard. There are some permanent and temporary methods and there is also a graphical user interface method. In this video I'm going to show one method that is temporary that uses the terminal. In this video I'm going to show how to change around the parentheses keys. The parentheses keys have to be done by means of a shift and occasionally you may get tired of doing that and you wish they were more like the open and close bracket keys where you don't have to shift. Well what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the 9 and the open parentheses key around so that you shift to get the 9 but not the open parentheses key. And same thing over here with zero and close parentheses. You shift for the zero, but not for the parentheses. The way you do this is pretty easy. You've got to go to a terminal, and that's Control-Alt-T to open up a terminal. And you type in the name of the program xmodmap. When you hit enter, it doesn't give you a lot of information. So I'll up arrow and get x mod map space dash dash help. And here's more information and I want to draw your attention to two of them in particular. Dash E dash E executes whatever modification you make. And dash PKE prints out the entire keyboard. So I'll up arrow again, get rid of help, and put in PKE. And this is the entire keyboard. It's all the keys you've got, plus some you don't have, plus the shifted level, and then beyond that the so-called third level and fifth level. Now on some international keyboards you'll have four keys printed on each key and you get the second shift state by means of something else other than the shift key and I'll show how to do that later. Right now I want to get this more convenient and so I am going to go to edit, select all, edit, copy. Now I'm going to open up gedit text editor and I'm going to go edit paste or control V. You can do it either way. And this is the same business that I just highlighted and copied. And we can go scroll around and look at it. I want to draw your attention to the numbers that go across the top of your topmost keys, 1 through 0. And here we see 9 and open parentheses left. That's called key code 18. And then key code 19 is the 0. And the shifted state is parentheses right. Well, what we can do is copy those. I brought my cursor down to the beginning of key code 18 and I hold my shift key down and then down arrow, down arrow and then I'm going to copy that control C now I'm going to open up another untitled document. I'm in this untitled document. I'm going to open up another one right here. And you do that in File, New. And here I am. Now I'm going to go Edit Paste or Control V. And I've got those two lines. Type in X Mod Map 
and do not forget dash e that turns it into a program enclose everything else in quotation marks beginning quotation mark hit end closed quotation mark now go to the beginning of the line go down a line x mod map dash e quotation mark hit end quotation mark go to the beginning of the line now that's as it is no changes what I want to do is swap around 9 with the shifted state and then I want to sh uh, swap around 0 and the shifted state by chance by coincidence we've got the next level up also has 9 and 0 so really all I need to do is eliminate this first and when I save this file I need to give it a name file save and it says what do you want to call it well I'm gonna call it swap parenthesis and save I can close this entire text editor now for that matter I can close the terminal now you need to do one more thing open your home folder and go to that file that you just created it'll be towards the bottom the folders are first the files are next and here it is swap parentheses now if I tap on it it just opens up the text file that we just created but I want to alter this with a right click and go to properties and then go to permissions and I want to put a check mark down here in permissions where it says execute and when I tap that there on after when I double click that file the computer will ask me do you wanna just look at this in the text editor or do you wanna execute it as a program so here I've got swap parentheses and when I tap on it double tap if I hit this one here where it says display it'll just open up the text editor but what I want to do is run the program and I just ran the program well let's test it out this is not a really good way to test it because see I'm just going to hit the 9 key and you cannot see and I cannot see which of those it's printing is it printing the 9 and open parentheses or is it has it, have they swapped them the way to do it I suppose would be to open up a text editor again now you'll have to take my word for this but I am just going to touch the 9 key unshifted and son of a gun I have got an open parenthesis now I'm going to hold down the shift key and I got the 9 I'm hitting the 0 key I'm holding down the shift key and hitting the 0 key they're swapped well let me see if I can if I can uh, no I can I cannot get my uh, keyboard to activate 
and show you this, you'll have to take my word for it. Well, you may wonder, why do we have a picture of Dizzy Dean? Those of you who are not Americans have no idea, and those of you who are younger Americans may say, well, gee, I've heard the name. And he was a baseball player, and then later he was a, a, a fellow who did radio announcements and television announcements. He was characterized by using correct English grammar to a very great extent. He would say such things as, he slud into third. And English teachers in America would write him scathing letters saying, that's not right, you shouldn't say that. Well, I just taught you how to swap, and the past tense of swap is swap. I swap the nine in the parentheses, and I swap the zero in the parentheses. This is not permanent. The nice thing about this is that this program does not run after you shut off the computer. After you shut off the computer, it goes back to its normal state. If you want to get it again, well, then you just go to Places, Home Folder, find the file, and run the file. And then so long as that is open, so, so long as your computer is on, you'll have a swapped state. Now, let's say you don't want to shut off your computer, and you, uh, you want to just go back to the way it was. That's easy enough. Just put a 9 in front of parentheses here. And put a 0 in front of parentheses here. Save it. Close it. It says save as. I don't know what happened here. Swap back. And then run it again. I hope this has been helpful. My name is Pop. If anybody is interested, I will make some more videos that show how you can change the other keys around. It is far simpler, of course, to change the N to an M, or say the K to an L, or something like that. There you do not have to go inside of the key state. Thank you very much.